Good morning, everyone. I'm up early. Working, actually. But I woke up in pain. So, yesterday, I actually got some muscle relaxers. Of course, they don't work. But I also got four injections in my back. And, um... Obviously, I have some hardware that has shifted. So, uh, one of the doctors, after he looked at my x-rays, he came over and he said, I'm sorry for what happened to you. He said, I hope you hurt him. And because of federal laws, I couldn't really answer him. But I did tell him something that I did do that I can talk about. See, that doctor now, the one that messed my back up, he has the nickname The Butcher. My friend up in Scott's Bluff had the same surgery I did, and he died. Saw several people that was injured by that man. And, uh, because the federal laws, there wasn't too much I could do or say, but I did, uh, one day call his office in Scott's Bluff and, uh, told him what flight he would be coming back on from Puerto Rico, flying into Denver International Airport. And I told him, the office that um, maybe one of those trips down there he's going to meet the wrong woman when he's out playing around. So that's about all I can say about it. As far as the hardware, I got paid some bucks and I'm under a gag order. I can't even mention the manufacturer. But um, yeah, I've had to hunt people down. But the reason I'm on here this morning, I was just viewing some comments in a group, and uh, I don't know if any of y'all remember September 27th, 2019. There was a video up for just an hour or so, and it was about some death threats, and in the video, it showed a clown Sounded like some Japanese talking going on and, um, you know, death threats. And then there was a woman who got on there talking and heard little death threats. Well, that video, let's just say it irritated me, came out that morning. So that afternoon, oh, I decided to see what that was about. So I did a little remote viewing, and then I went outside. I was standing under a tree, and I made a video. I really didn't know what I was going to say when I turned the camera on, but it was directed specifically to Donald Trump and his administration. And I told him that he was going to need a new Homeland Security advisor before the end of the year for Christmas. And I made a few other comments. Well, two weeks later, on a Friday, on October 11th, Kevin McElean turned in his resignation. And I was sitting at the kitchen table and, uh, my friend Bill slid the newspaper over to me, and there it was in the paper, and I just started bawling. And after I got my composure, I went in the living room, and I made a little acknowledgement video. See, when I get really pissed off over injustice, I'm capable of a lot of things. I compensate. 
But anyway, in that acknowledgement video, I acknowledge the ones above me help me. They give me very specific information. Y'all keep playing with me.